What is going on guys? Uh, very excited for this video today. I've actually been wanting to share it for a while, just uh, never got around to it. So in this video, I'm actually going to share the letter of intent that I submitted when I applied to the Masters of Public Health program at Hopkins. All right, so as I said, this is my letter of intent that I submitted uh, pretty recently. Actually, no, not recently, this is 2016. This is almost three years ago. Um, and I wanted to share this because all the pharmacy students are applying for residency right now. And hopefully this would add um, some better ideas of how to make your letter of intent for pharmacy residencies more personable. And also, of course, for anyone that's applying to public health, especially um, a more personal touch towards uh, in your in your letter of intent. In any case, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to read this. Uh, no real commentary. Uh, just take it as you will, and hopefully, it will help some of you who are applying to either pharmacy residency or to uh, public health programs around the nation. Antimicrobial resistance at the time was only a concept understood through bullet points on a slide during the initial months of my pharmacy student rotations. Superbugs, as they would call them on the news, was only a concept that escaped the realities of daily responsibility for the clinical pharmacist I was aspiring to be. At 6.30 a.m. on May 7, 2012, that notion completely changed when I happened upon a pan-resistant Klebsiella pneumoniae when reviewing daily urine cultures. Prior to this shocking realization, superbugs only existed in faraway places spurred by poor antimicrobial use practices and spread by poor hygiene. Though, on that day, I was in America. I was at a community medical center with an otherwise well cared for and hygienic patient. It was a modern first world hospital with exceptionally skilled staff, but here was a patient with no viable treatment options. That moment marked the beginnings of my interest in antimicrobial stewardship and public health. Although it was my clinical experiences that awakened my interest in public health, it was my inability to help my grandmother when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer that spurred my desire to help others. She is currently a cancer survivor of 12 years and a constant reminder to me that it is through the dedication of hardworking healthcare individuals that has allowed me that has allowed her cancer to remit. As such, I vow to mirror their work ethic and make an impact on the lives of others. Residency training would further support my mission as it defined me personally and professionally in manners both perceivable and unmeasurable. It was during my training that I was fortunate enough to have the opportunities that piqued my interest in antimicrobial stewardship, shaping me into the practitioner I am today. Through experience, knowledge, and understanding, Gained in my training, I came to the realization that would forever change my perception on the importance of public health. The greatest threat to the patients of tomorrow is how we treat the infections of the patients today. However, it was also during my residency that I learned of the limited impact a single individual has on antimicrobial stewardship on the front lines. Interventions were often repetitive and redundant given the number of practitioners involved in the prescribing practice. What became more apparent as I progressed through my rotations was the broad impact information technology can have on healthcare delivery and its potential to deliver high quality healthcare to the masses. This ultimately propelled me into a second year residency focused in pharmacy informatics at the University of Utah. My long-term goal would be to contribute to the standardization and benchmarking of infectious disease data collected for public health with electronic health records becoming the norm among healthcare organizations across the nation, the ability to analyze large data sets is becoming much more feasible. Despite the efforts of many organizations to standardize healthcare data, it remains a challenging feat. I witness this daily as I coordinate the transition of antimicrobial stewardship and infection control programs across the enterprise into one converged electronic health record. One of my main responsibilities with the project is to design, build, test, and implement the tools that will be used in our electronic health record to abstract infection cases and report them to the National Healthcare Safety Network. It has been a unique learning experience as I work with my subject matter experts from multiple states to converge and standardize the workflows. My future aspiration would be to eventually coordinate this convergence and standardization across all electronic health rec records 
around the nation. My desire to pursue public health training at Hopkins is fueled by a variety of factors. First and foremost, as the number one ranked public health program since 1994, I will undoubtedly receive exceptional training that will equip me with the tools to protect health and save lives, millions at a time. Secondly, that prestige further translates into attracting brilliant individuals from across the globe. This is quite evident with the number of international students that matriculate into the program. Furthermore, antimicrobial stewardship is not a local issue, but rather a global one. The opportunity to collaborate with other public health leaders to address the growing threat of antimicrobial resistance would truly benefit the patients of the future. Last but not least, one of the most attractive aspects of the Hopkins program is the ability to design my own degree path. Due to the curriculum structure of quarters and the requirement of 80 credits, Hopkins provides me with a unique op opportunity to pursue training in the three areas I identify with the most, infectious disease, health leadership and management, and public health informatics. Overall, I strongly conclude that your program exemplifies the key features I am searching for in a public health program. I look forward to the opportunity to learn from the professors at John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Thank you for your consideration. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, there's definitely a lot of personal aspects into this, uh, very personalized uh, about my own experiences um, and it, also towards the school itself. So uh, that is it. Uh, let me know if that helps and any kind of feedback uh, that you may have. All right, guys. Until next time.